Hi boys and girls, hope you have a great weekend coming up, Easter, whether you're away or coming to church or eating Easter eggs and feeling sick from too many Easter eggs. Anyway, I want to read you a story today, it's called Imagination, Imagine, Imagine, and it's by Juan Philippe Herrera. Now, something you need to know about Juan Philippe Herrera, he was, um, well, you'll see shortly that he grew up in Mexico or Mexico, and he became the United States Poet Laureate, which kind of means he became a very good poet in the English language. Because, of course, when you grow up in Mexico, you speak Spanish. Anyway, this is about a little boy, and um, it's about called Imagine. And here he is. There he is. It says, if I picked chamomile, you know, chamomile drink, people make it into tea. If I picked chamomile flowers as a child in the windy fields and whispered to their fuzzy faces, imagine. If I let tadpoles swim across my hands, in the wavy creek. Imagine. If I jumped up high into my puppy's army truck and left our village of farm workers and waved adios to my amigos. Imagine. If I let the stars at night paint my blanket with milky light with shapes of hungry birds while I slept outside. Imagine what you could do. If I help Mama feed the hopping chickens and catch the crazy turkey in our front yard of our village. Imagine. If I walked through the evening forest at the top of the mountain with a silvery bucket to fetch water from the next town. Imagine. If I moved to the winding city of tall, bending buildings and skipped to a new concrete school I had never seen. If I open my classroom's wooden door not knowing how to read or speak English, imagine. If I practice spelling words in English by saying them in Spanish like pencil for pencil, imagine. If I collected gooey and sticky ink pens because I loved how the ink flowed like tiny rivers across soft paper. Imagine. If I grabbed a handful of words I never heard and sprinkled them over a paragraph so I could write a magnificent story. Imagine. If I stood up in a school far away from where I lived, and sang for the first time in front of a class. Imagine. If I started to write a poem on a skinny paper pad after school as I walked on the wide sidewalk and then finished it when I got home. Imagine. If I picked up my honey-coloured guitar and called out my poem every day until it turned into a song, imagine. If I gathered many words and many more songs with both my hands and let them fly over my mesa and turn them into a book of poems, imagine. If I stood up wearing a robe in front of my familiar 
and many more on the high steps of the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C., and read out loud and signed my poetry book, like this, Poet Laureate of the United States of America. Imagine what you could do. It's a famous guy called John Lennon who wrote a song, Imagine. Imagination, imagining, reimagining, is one of the key spiritual disciplines to follow Jesus, to envision a world we haven't seen before, to envision a life different than what it is. A life where all are fed, all are cared for, all find justice, all find peace. And here's one encouraging you and me to imagine. Have a blessed Easter.